All right, April 2020, mid-pandemic. Lauren and I are going to take off for a day and a half here in Kentucky, go to an undisclosed uh, area, hike in. It's a nice climbing area I've been wanting to check out. Hike out, find a great place to camp in the National Forest, make ourselves some salmon, go to sleep, get up, make breakfast, and come home. Um, nice little check out for the... Uh, for the stealth minivan and we are absolutely not stopping anywhere we're not stopping for gas we're not stopping for food we're not stopping for liquor we're bringing everything with us so um, we just want to get away from the humans completely if you know what I mean of course it doesn't take a pandemic for you to want to get away from humans so here's the uh, stealth minivan um, here's some of the stuff that's going on I filtered a gallon of triple filtered this nice fresh water uh, I've got some Perrier's, a box of Sauvignon Blanc for the trip. Open up uh, this side. This is going to house things like an extra light. Um, here's my thing for coffee, coffee mugs, wine glasses. Extra stove. Very needed, the extra stove. So uh, when I'm making breakfast, I can make coffee also. A couple cutting boards. So this is kind of the, the side of the unit where you do all the prepping kind of right here so there you go here's uh, my other stove here I've got uh, different herbs and spices salt pepper coffee regular coffee um, and I'll show you why got some spray and some olive oil hand sanitizer don't steal my hand sanitizer uh, here's where all the food non-perishable stuff will go and here is uh, some pots and pans coffee grinder look at that some uh, extra tarp here my cooler I'm making a ice right now in the freezer uh, this is very cool very needed this is my battery uh, unit that can jump the car it also will charge phones computers I've got uh, some auxiliary lights that I can use here's Lauren's little porta potty and uh, the little lid and you just put regular like bags that you have laying around in it and then uh, you go uh, throw them at someone's car you know, and let them splat. I don't know what you do with them. Anyway, uh, inside is a bit tight. It is a bit tight in here for two people, but uh, it will be comfortable. It's just an overnight. Here is uh, some netting I have above that's holding towels, a hat, some warm gloves, stuff like that that you might need. Great pocket here behind the passenger seat. All our toiletry stuff is going to be in there. There's Keela's bed for the drive. Um, you know, that's pretty much it. It's uh, simple, simple. And when the weather gets better, I have a unit that I built that's a shower unit that'll go on top of the vehicle for longer trips. And so uh, we're getting ready to get out of here and looking forward to uh, kind of bagging out overnight in the wilderness.